Hi, my name is Amy Absar, and for my end of semester chemistry project, I will be demonstrating the thermodynamic properties of chemical reactions using a bag of microwavable popcorn. To do this experiment, you're going to get a bag of microwavable popcorn, and according to the instructions on the bag, place it in the microwave for the instructed amount of time. My bag said to put it in for a minute and a half. After some time in the microwave, the volume of the bag starts to increase dramatically. Suddenly, the bag is unrecognizable from the bag that we started out with. But how? It must have something to do with the corn kernels on the inside. So let's rewind a bit and take a closer look at what's happening to those corn kernels. In a pan, I have some corn kernels heating up. After some time in the pan, the corn kernels start to pop open. Let's slow down and take another look. Much like the bag in the microwave, suddenly the volume of these kernels increases significantly. So what's happening on the inside of the kernels themselves? Well, there's some water stored on the inside of the corn kernel, inside of its hard starchy shell. When heat is applied, the water molecules start to get farther apart from each other as their kinetic energy increases, turning the phase of the water from liquid to gas. The starchy, hard outer shell of the corn kernel doesn't allow the volume of the gas to increase, so instead, the pressure builds. Eventually, the pressure inside the kernel becomes so great that the hard outer shell can't withstand anymore and the shell breaks open and the kernel inverts itself, allowing the volume of water to be released and expand inside the pot or inside the bag. So how does this cause the bag's volume to increase? This popcorn bag has been constructed to be inflatable, so when the steam escapes from the corn kernels as they pop, the bag starts to inflate with the steam as the steam is being created. Eventually, the pressure building inside the bag causes a vent to open. This is work being done actively on the bag. This vent allows the new steam being created to escape the bag. The steam's volume exceeds that of the bag and the pressure can now be constant since the volume is changing. To sum it up, the bag inflates because the chemical reaction happening inside the kernels does work on the bag's borders. So next time you have a bowl of popcorn, you can think thermodynamics and chemistry for that buttery goodness.